Hello everyone and welcome back to this video. Today will be a special video again as I'll be upgrading my gaming laptop storage. This laptop has a 512GB SSD and I will be adding another one for a total of 1TB of raw storage. This video was originally made in Dutch about 6 months ago and this is a complete remake in English. Enjoy! This is the Lenovo Legion 5, a powerful gaming laptop with an Intel Core i7 and an RTX 3050. I use this for gaming, editing videos and all my other work. It truly is a performance beast and the only bottleneck is the 500GB of storage, as I'm getting full with all my video projects. I will be adding a second M.2 NVMe SSD to combat this problem. First, we'll open up the laptop. I unscrew the 10 screws holding the bottom on and then I can use a prying tool to carefully loosen all the plastic clips. Make sure that you don't stick the tool too deep as this can damage internals. The plastic clips are also prone to breaking so keep that in mind too. After I loosen all the clips I can lift off the back panel. The first thing you would want to do is to disconnect the battery from the motherboard but I couldn't find how to get the connector loose. Next you want to find the location for the extra storage. You can see that my laptop has a drive bay for a 2.5 inch drive or SSD. I won't be using this as I'm going to be using an M.2 SSD. I unscrew all the screws holding the drive bay in and then remove it. If you were to install a 2.5 inch drive, you would screw these metal parts to your drive and reinstall it into the laptop. I won't be doing that, so I can also remove the SATA ribbon cable from my motherboard. Now you can see the NVMe connector, but we're missing the standoff for the drive to be mounted to. After Lenovo support told me that my 17 inch model didn't support extra M.2 drives, I did some more research and found a post on reddit revealing that the standoff is stored above the battery. Remove the screw holding the standoff in place and then you can slide the standoff under these lips. You can mount the standoff for a standard size or a small M.2 SSD. The next step is to install your SSD. I've got the Samsung 980 500GB NVMe SSD. This is a Gen 4 M.2 SSD which is compatible with my board. Installing it is just like any other M.2 port. You slide the drive into its connector and then push it against the standoff. And now you can screw the SSD to the standoff to hold it in place. And that's the whole process. Don't forget to connect the battery again and then close up your laptop. Now you can turn it back on and see if the drive is recognized. If not, don't panic. Most new drives aren't partitioned yet and partitioning a drive should be a one minute process. I have a Dutch video about this and will probably make one in English too. I will link a tutorial in the description for the meantime. If your drive is still not recognized by Windows, I advise you to reinstall the drive and if that doesn't work, it might be broken. Maybe try it in another device or send it back to the manufacturer. Now I've doubled my storage and this drive has writing speeds of almost 2 gigabytes a second. That's the advantage NVMe drives have over SATA drives. Anyway, thank you for watching, leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video.